Linda and Bill Gates Foundation launched on the 28th of January 2021, the university seeks to find initiatives for what work access to women empowerment in the country. The Kenyatta University Women's Economic Empowerment Hub, the university fraternity have for a year now partnered with Tarakanithi County Government to join hands in a research project aimed to find out what would work for women's economic empowerment. But why Tarakanithi County? It is because of the, the governor. In the initial stage, he's the only governor who actually show some interest in making sure that um, the project, which as I said, is on uh, women economic empowerment. The hub established through a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to help women in Kenya was officially launched on 28 January 2021 by the CS Public Service and Gender Professor Margaret Kobia. Tarakanithi County Governor Muthu Minjuki commended the partnership, noting that there are efforts in place related to supporting women's economic empowerment so that they can be able to raise their families and have economic sense in their lives. You are very familiar with the crutch at the market, which is um, a structure we put up to help our mothers who are lactating to be able to conduct their business and at the same time have their young ones taken care of and also be able to breastfeed them when they want. That uh, creature, that the market was, uh, it was made out of need. It did not come out of nowhere. It was demand by the mothers. And how can they be able to make sure their business goes on throughout the year without being interrupted by a very natural act of having to bring newborns in this world and rear them at that very delicate stage. Kenyatta University, renowned for its research prowess, seeks to find out women's participation in management and leadership positions in the public society while improving young women's work readiness and employability through internship and mentorship while analyzing the effectiveness of sexual gender-based violence mitigation and prevention programs. And therefore, it is trying to find out are there some gaps are there some policies or new policies that can be used at the county level to improve the way the county want to empower the women in the county? And therefore today, we are coming here with our researchers to see how we have to work together. The agreement is expected to last for five years, with Tarakanithi County being the first in the country to benefit from this project. For KUTV News, I am Ann Odida. Educational stakeholders in Ganze constituency have blamed poor infrastructure and poverty for the dismal performance in schools within the constituency. The stakeholders, who included political leaders,